trucking's always been a dangerous job. The trucks are heavy. When they get those things rolling, there's a lot of momentum involved with the speed and the weight. And people can get hurt or killed. There are risks involved, and, and in days gone by, we were, we were paid well in trucking, and part of that pay was because of the risks that we were taking to do the job, to, to manage the dangers of the driving. These days, the money's not nearly so good, but the game has changed, and the change is called distracted driving. Now, accidents can happen, but now we have electronic equipment available to us in the trucks. Everything from cell phones that you can text to watch YouTube movies. And sad to say that some drivers actually utilize this equipment to watch movies or whatever as they go down the highway. Well, the police have recognized this as a problem, and, and they're absolutely right. It's a huge problem on our highways, and the police are clamping down. Here in Ontario, last week alone, three different truck drivers involved in three separate accidents were each charged with manslaughter because the OPP felt that they were driving while distracted. Now, the OPP weren't there, of course, when the accidents occurred. They're surmising that that's what caused these accidents, and they've laid charges. So whether these guys are truly guilty or not, yet remains to be seen in court, and court will establish that. But the problem lies in the fact that before these guys are even proven guilty or innocent, they're going to be out tens of thousands of dollars to try to prove their innocence, and they may win or they may lose. And whether they win or lose, it's going to cost them a fortune. But if they lose, then on top of the tens of thousands of dollars, they're going to get to go to jail. Now, mistakes happen. Police can charge the wrong parties. But this is part of the job now that we face. God help us, if we're stupid enough to drive while distracted, we deserve everything they can throw at us. But sometimes the police make mistakes. The point is, the risk to you as a driver now exists that you can go to work in the morning and end up in jail before your workday is done because you may or may not be guilty of something the police are charging you with. And it's serious charges, criminal charges. So I guess my question is, does your truck driving job pay enough for you to risk the fact that when you go to work in the morning, you could be involved in an accident, you could be found at fault in the accident, whether you really are or not, and you've got to pony up tens of thousands of dollars to prove your innocence. And hopefully you are innocent, but either way, you're at the money, you've got a huge amount of stress while you go through this trial, and maybe you'll win and maybe you'll lose. And if you lose, you're going to jail. Does your truck driving job pay enough to take that kind of risk these days? I highly doubt it. During this period of time, while you may be preparing to defend yourself against these charges, whether they're accurate or not, chances are you're out of job over the deal, so you're out the income from the job, so no one's paying the bills, and it's just you out there swinging in the wind, can't support yourself or your family. This is the type of risk that you're taking these days by driving a truck. And my argument is, hey, it just doesn't pay enough anymore, and this is one of the reasons why. The risk to you has increased, and the pay has decreased. The risk of this happening has increased exponentially because of the traffic, the volume of traffic, the distracted driving of others, the four-wheelers. Your odds these days of getting in an accident are pretty damn good, frankly. And you may have to defend yourself whether you're guilty or not. We live in a world these days where a four-wheeler can drive off the road, roll his car, and claim you forced him off the road and sue you simply to get money out of you. That's just, that's the whole game. There are all sorts of con artists out there these days that are doing that, targeting trucks for insurance money. It's a scam and it's become quite common. And you could be a victim of a scam like that 
are you making enough money at your truck driving job to cover the cost of that kind of a scam? The point is here, driving a truck is a financial risk these days, a large financial risk. And risky jobs need to be paid appropriately. Drivers should be compensated properly for the risks and the chances that they take. And they're not. And that's part of my problem with today's trucking wages. I sometimes hear from guys saying, hey, I don't know about you, but I'm making a good living. Really? Are you making a good enough living to cover the cost of something like this? Part of what you should be paid for is for the risk that you're taking. It's true, a lot of guys can drive a truck, but you've just assumed a huge responsibility when you've taken on that job. It's not just a matter of shifting gears and pointing that thing down the highway. They're relying, and you're relying, on your judgment, your reaction time, all sorts of different factors to keep you out of trouble. So while maybe all sorts of guys can shift gears and point a truck, it takes a certain amount of judgment to drive one of these things well. And if you're not prepared for this type of an accident, and it can happen to anybody, then you're in the wrong business because the possibility is there. And I think you should be properly compensated for the kind of risk that you're taking as a truck driver and the risks are there. Other industries call it danger pay. Here in trucking it's just kind of ignored and shuffled under the rug. But believe me, there are risks involved. So if you think you're making good money as a truck driver, let me ask you this. Have you got tens of thousands of dollars set aside in a bank account to defend yourself if something like this happens to you? And I'm willing to bet that you don't, but it can happen to any one of us at any time. So you need to be prepared. Now do you still think your driving job pays enough? Have you got enough to hire a good criminal lawyer to get you out of jail? I bet you don't, and that's something you need to think about. Because if you're driving a truck for a living, that chance improves every day that something will go wrong and you'll find yourself in trouble legally. So if you really believe you're making enough money, you need to rethink this. Because legal trouble can be just around the corner. So keep this in mind. Keep your judgment clear. Drive safe. And I will see you on the backhaul.